Stream local election results on the Fox Local app. This is Fox 13 News at 6. Youth violence is the thing that's driving violence in Pierce County. One person is dead, three others hurt after an overnight shooting in Puyallup. Now you can help with the investigation as detectives piece together what happened. Plus, the remains of the two Navy aviators killed in a plane crash are returning home when the processions are taking place this week. And Election Day could turn into more of an election week when we can expect to know the results of this year's presidential election. Tonight, we begin with breaking news out of Tacoma. Officers are actively searching right now for a suspect in a sexual assault that happened this afternoon. Police say they responded to an address on South Wapato Street after a report of a woman screaming for help. When they arrived, they found that she had been attacked from behind and sexually assaulted by a stranger. Here's a photo of the area where this happened by one of our viewers, Corey Joseph. Paramedics took the victim to a nearby hospital to be treated for her injuries. Detectives and a canine unit are on the scene right now. They're trying to search for that suspect. There is no description of the suspect at this time. If you have any information or heard anything or saw anybody suspicious in this area around Wapato, please call 911. We've got a crew heading to the scene. We'll bring you the latest right here and on fox13seattle.com. Well, thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm David Rose. And I'm Sabir Rayford. The man's body was discovered this morning around 7 o'clock. Homicide detectives were called to the scene as soon as officers confirmed the man was dead. The King County Medical Examiner is working to identify him and determine his cause of death. In the meantime, anyone with information is asked to call the SPD tip. Line. Fox 13's Dave Detling is at the park talking to neighbors about what happened. We'll have his full report tonight on Fox 13 News at 10. In Puyallup, one man is dead and three others have been hurt after a shooting. Right now, detectives are investigating at two different locations, one at 58th Avenue and 152nd Street, the other at 66th Avenue and 152nd Street. Fox 13 shows Matsuwawa went to Puyallup. Uh, Shiro Matsuzawa, pardon me, went to Puyallup and shares the strong message from the department about youth violence. This all happened shortly after 12.30 this morning. The Pierce County Sheriff's Department says they got a call about a shooting and then another call about a car that crashed into a ditch. 